the next basic element is the inductor. It is given by the symbol which resembles a coil. This is because inductors are frequently implemented as coils of wire and again we define V and I using a passive sign convention. Okay. Now, it turns out that the voltage across an inductor is related to the flux linkage stored in the inductor. Okay it is given by this relationship, where this psi is the flux linkage and psi itself is proportional to I through a proportionality constant, which is known as the inductance. Okay. So, the inductance is measured in Henry's or H. Now, you can see that this relationship is analogous to charge being proportional to voltage. Here, the flux linkage is proportional to current and the current was the rate of change of charge, whereas the voltage is the rate of change of flux linkage. Okay. So, you can make this kind of analogy between uh, quantities in a capacitor and in an inductor, but uh, this flux linkage is a little more abstract quantity than a charge and I would not go into the details of it, but uh, from the geometry of the inductor and the current flowing in the inductor, you can fl find the flux linkage. But again, we do not have to go into all those complications, because as I have emphasized repeatedly, we are interested only in the terminal characteristics. Okay. So, that is the relationship between V and I and for that we can eliminate this flux linkage and get a relationship which is V is L the inductance times the rate of change of current. Okay. So, this is the defining relationship of an inductor where again V is defined with this polarity and I with that polarity. Okay. So, the inductance as I mentioned earlier is measured in Henry's. So, what does this relationship say? If the current is increasing at the rate of 1 ampere per second and if the inductance is 1 Henry, the voltage across the uh, inductor will be a constant which is equal to 1 volt. Okay? So, one point I would like to caution you about here is that all of you would be familiar with uh, Lenz's laws uh, from physics and you would know that the induced voltage across an inductor is in a direction such that it opposes the change in flux and so on. And it is common to see relationships like V is minus L di by dt. Okay. Now, do not be confused by that. This is the correct relationship with this particular sign convention. Okay. Now, it turns out that in most of the physics books, the current would be considered in the other direction and that is why you get a minus sign in that expression. Okay. Now, if you have V like this and I defined this way, this is the relationship and this is the induced voltage which opposes the change in magnetic flux linkage inside the inductor. Okay. So, what does this say? V is L times d i by d t and if I is changing at let us say 1 ampere per second and if the inductance is 1 milli Henry, clearly voltage induced across it is 1 milli Henry times 1 ampere per second, which is 1 milli volts. Okay. So, the voltage across the inductor is 1 milli volt. Now, this also says another thing, it says that if the voltage across the inductor is finite, 
okay the current through the inductor cannot change instantaneously okay so clearly that's apparent from this relationship if the current changes instantaneously the time derivative is infinity and the voltage would have to be infinite as well okay so this is analogous to the voltage in a capacitor which also cannot change instantaneously if the current through it is finite okay now we have v is l di by dt which says that i is 1 over l integral of the voltage with respect to time and i at a time t1 is given by this integral plus i at time t0 so that means that the difference in currents at time t1 and time t0 is given by the integral of the voltage the area under the voltage curve divided by the inductance of the inductor okay so this again is analogous to the relationship we saw earlier with the capacitor now clearly the current in an inductor at a given instant depends not only on the voltage at that instant but on voltages at all previous instants so again just like the capacitor an inductor is also an element with memory okay the capacitor stores charge and inductor stores flux 